What's going on, you crazy beautiful people of the internet? It's your boy, Thirsty Pancakes. Hey, how's it going? Had some family visiting the other day, so it's been a hot minute, and Newcastle dropped like a week ago, so we're giving him a shot now. And should be a pretty groovy game. Let's go. We landed virtually uncontested at the mill, and I armed myself with the newly returned floor loot Spitfire and the trusty R9. I was feeling confident and zesty. Well, just generally excited for the new season, despite not reading a single line of the patch notes. I, I, I did say virtually uncontested. There was, there was another squad at the other building, so, you know, we had to deal with these bad boys. Yeah, I know, that should have been a one clip, but, uh, like I said, it's been a minute. Notice self, hip fire on the Spitfire may not be an option. Watch out for the nade, pancake. Slide jump. Slide. No, no, no. Oh. Well, at least you have fortified. After plundering our vanquished foes, we gallivanted over towards the downed beast for another scrap and a look at the sweet, sweet new POI. Yeah, just kidding. That's uh, that's about as far as I got to go inside. Teammate pinged another squad, so you know, duty calls. I'm coming, teammates. Wide flank strategy engaged. Sprinkle in a sky nade for a little bit of zest. Pachow! And of course, you can't forget to add the heavy ammunition to taste. Oh yeah, perfect. In typical pancake fashion, I deployed my ultimate just in time for the crypto to finish off the other squad. That three weeks of vacation may have done a number on you, pancake. Let's pick it up. Feeling in desperate need of a skirmish I could hang my hat on, I began rapidly rotating through POIs in search of an enemy squad. Thing is, this is Stormpoint, and there were plenty of places left to hide. Open the door. Open the door. All right, let's go. Need that and that. Snacking would have to wait. They had been interrupted by the sounds of an enemy Newcastle's footsteps. I had found my fight. But, uh, so did basically everyone else on Stormpoint. Alright, yes, after rotating across the entire map looking for a fight, I cowered away underneath an enemy team like a stinking rat in D1 while my teammates suffered the scourge of multiple third parties. My bad. Shaking off my cowardice, I made our way toward our octane to grab the res and start pressuring the enemy team. 
I could still hear the pitter-patter of footsteps all around us, and I found myself contemplating if I should have stayed in the safe haven of my rat's den. Wait a second, is that my name again? Huh. Weird. It was a good thing I grabbed the res. Octane was now risking everything to bring us back, and there was less than a minute to get back to our boxes and rotate into zone. We had been brought back with mere seconds left to spare. I snatched up the nearest loot box and began circling the mountain towards zone, unfortunately leaving Octane who had scrambled to bring us back. And no good deed goes unpunished. With no way to repay Octane's sacrifice, I readied myself mentally for the visible sting of a disappointed disconnect. But I found myself surprised that Octane was still here, silently supporting the team, rooting for us like a goddamn guardian angel. Meanwhile, Crypto was feeling the burn of the round three closure, and I became acutely aware that another team was close by. Pancake, did you just waste both of your grenades on a bamboozle? We'll talk about this later. Crypto had rejoined the group and was ready to grab- it. Oh fuck, that's a Kraber! We had been spotted and singled out as a two-man squad. I made a mad dash for zone and managed to make my way towards the center of Antenna. Now, I'm gonna be honest here, it would have been really nice to turn around and help out my crypto, but... You see, I found myself just a wee bit distracted by... Easy kill alert. Damage pad activated. Unfortunately, Crypto would pay for my tomfoolery, and I'd have to engage any stragglers solo. Both my teammates lost to the storm, I was alone, and with a sliver of health, my stomach was in my throat. I wasn't sure that I could pull this off. Realizing I was in the worst possible position, I began the longest walk to high ground. I prayed to the matchmaker that my final conflict wouldn't erupt before I could reach the shadows of cover. I couldn't let my teammates down. I had left them for dead, their boxes sizzling in the crackling heat of Zone 4. And then I heard it. Footsteps. A solo mirage. Too many times had I been beaten and blasted by the King of Bamboozles. I couldn't let it happen again. Not as Newcastle. Pancake, hop the ledge, get out of the way! My shield was taken down to the equivalent of paper towel. This wasn't good. Bamboozle! Good grief, how many grenades does this guy have? Did he just loot a fuse? Ooh, victory by the skin of our teeth and clumsily executed, but here we are. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Let me know what your experience has been with Newcastle. Does he seem like he's going to have a uh, healthy place in the meta to you? This has been Thirsty Pancakes, and uh, like and subscribe and all that, and I will catch you all in the next one. Later.